Hey YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertMedia.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I can write code way faster than using Emmet with Sublime Text. So first thing I'm going to show you to start off is we have this blank HTML file. And I'm just going to type full HTML and hit a tab. And look at that. Wow. I've got this entire boilerplate generated for me. So Lately, I don't know if you've been paying attention to this channel, but I mentioned I was going back to high school teaching of mathematics. Uh, probably could have phrased that better, but I'm a high school math teacher, and I'm throwing up notes for my students online on one of my little websites. Now, it's nothing fancy. It's mostly just plain HTML with a very, very little CSS. But it still takes time to write the HTML, and of course, it takes time to write the content for the students. That's most of the time. But I don't want to slow myself down with HTML. So what I was experimenting with is coming up with a plan where I can just kind of generate a fast web page and then just throw my content in there without having to write too much HTML in terms of the con content also because the content's going to take the time. I got to write the content. I don't want to be slowed down by any of that. So I start fooling around with a sublime text snippets. And so the first part of this video, I'm going to talk about a sublime text snippet that I made and maybe make another one with you. So I'll show you how to do that. And then the second half of the video, I'm going to show you another way where I can generate the HTML for the content really fast. Okay. Cause a lot of this here, like we have our header, our nav, our unordered list, a list item, and then an anchor tag inside of that. And if you watch my series on making a website with sublime text, uh, link in the description to that, you'll see that this is how we create our menu at the top of the website. Right, but I don't want to have to type this every single time. Even with Emmet, if I were going to do this with Emmet, I would have to type something like header, uh, a greater than arrow here, the nav, another greater than arrow, arrow uh, ul, then li, let's say one five, and then anchor tag. And that would generate that bit of code from this header to this closing header tag. But it wouldn't generate all this other stuff too. You know, I'd have to go out, do like plus main, plus aside, plus footer, etc. Okay. Um, so it, the snippet really does help. Now this snippet is full HTML. That's the tab trigger. So let me show you uh, the snippet. So there is some boilerplate code when you go to create a snippet um, and it, you erase that and you put this stuff in here. Okay. So uh, let me create a new snippet and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the menu here is small because I'm the way I'm filming to get it 1080p, but um, you go up to the tools here down to developer and you're going to go to new snippet. All right. And this is going to give you this uh, boilerplate snippet code. Okay. So, what we have here is we have a snippet, closing snippet tag. It's kind of like HTML in a way. Um, and you have your content and your closing content. And here's where you put your snippet code. Uh, and then you can put your tab trigger as well, which is another thing I do. So if you see down here, I have my tab triggers full HTML. So if I type full HTML and hit tab, it's going to generate all of this code. Now, these uh, dollar signs here, the dollar sign one, dollar sign two, dollar sign three, you can do as many of these as you want, dollar sign $4. Uh, basically, what happens here, let me go back and I'll show you. So I'm going to get rid of this. So I'll type full HTML, hit tab, and where dollar sign $1 is, it's going to be in the content part. So I can say this is a description of the web page. Obviously, this is a generic web page, but... You know, whatever topic I'm covering, and then I can hit tab, and it goes right here to where the title is. So I'll put uh, the title of my page here. Then I can hit tab again, and it goes right here to the link, okay, for the CSS. So then I could put the path to the CSS and whatever the file name is, main.css, hit tab, and the next one I have going down here. Now, I could have it going here as well and then going here. I want to talk about that later in the video, uh, something I'm thinking of instead of doing that. Uh, but anyway, so I go here for the main, 
then this is where all the content of my post would go. Um, and I'm going to show you how I would generate that content in a second. Um, and then uh, if I hit tab again, it just goes down to the bottom. Okay, so that's um, the dollar signs here. So dollar sign four is the last one I have. Okay, now I could build an aside for each one, just a boilerplate aside, and then I'm really generating web pages quickly. And what I'm thinking here of modifying the snippet is actually having the addresses and the, the names here, because if I build a site for my students, and maybe I'll do it with the website name, like full HTML, and then the website that I'm kind of basic HTML website I'm putting up for my students is upslopemath.com. So I could do full HTML upslope and hit tab, and it would have all of the links here, all the titles here, uh, all the information for the aside for the sidebar. Uh, I could fill in this stuff, and really all I would need to do is do the description, the title of the page, and you know, and then the content. Okay, so that's creating a snippet. I'm going to close this one out because I don't want to create a new one right now. But it's, I'm hope, hopefully this is giving you some ideas of how you can really go fast and make a, a web page at blazing speed, at sublime text blazing speed. Okay, uh, anyways, so that, that's the, the general boilerplate code, how to create a nice snippet that blasts it out real quick. Uh, so now let's talk about speeding up the content. So what I'm going to do here is first make sure my settings are good enough for you to see it. So let's crank up this font size here on my terminal here. So we'll go up here to 20. Okay. And um, then I'm going to take my terminal here and I'm going to go to opening up the terminal. Let's make this full screen and make it a little bit larger for you. Okay. And there's a package I'm going to install, which is called Pandoc. Okay. So to install that, this is a Chromebook. It may be different on different systems, but Pandoc is a free uh, file converting package. So I'm going to do sudo apt install Pandoc. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter and it's going to say, do you want to take this space? I'm going to say, yes, I, I would like to do that space. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually really excited about this because this is going to save me a ton of time as a teacher doing this stuff. And I'm going to put up all my notes and, you know, and, and some of my students are, are finding this helpful. So uh, it's going to be really a game changer for me. Um, okay. So anyways, I can clear this stuff out. Um, and what I can do here is I can go, let's create a new file. Let's save this file. Uh, in the base here. I was saving this. So the snippets, by the way, the snippets are saved in config. Go to sublime text, packages, user. And then you'll see I have a few snippets I'm playing around with here. Okay. Uh, but we want to save this. I'm just going to save this in the root. Uh, I'm going to call it, um, let's call it sample.md for markdown. Okay. So this is a markdown file. Okay. So I can put my title here, title of the file. Okay. Um, and then I can do maybe a subheading. This is a second level heading. Uh, so that's two hashtags. I don't know if you can see that, but that's two hashtags. So this is a second, second level heading. Uh, and we can do some content. I'm going to type lorem, just hit tab to get some dummy text there. Uh, maybe we do another second level heading. You know, some more uh, dummy text. There's a snippet for that. It's just lorem and hit tab. Okay, and then maybe we do a list. So this is list item one. Let's just duplicate this a bunch of times. And we'll go two, three, four, five, sorry, five and six. And then maybe we have a third level heading here. And we do some more dummy text here. And maybe we have an ordered list, so we'll just say ordered list item one and do a few more. Let's do, we'll do double cursors here. So we'll do two, three, whoops, three, four, five. Okay, cool. So we've got that. And then maybe we have a, I don't know, this is the conclusion and some more dummy text. So this is a, let's say this is a blog post that I have here. 
Okay, so what I can do is just save it. Okay, I can go back to my terminal. And if I list out the files that I have, I have sample.md and I have that test one that was the one with the snippet. So what I can do with pandoc, I can do pandoc sample.md dash o for output sample.html. And boom, now if I list this stuff out, I have a sample.html. So what can I do now? I can do, I can open that. Let's find the sample.html. And look at that. The files spit out HTML uh, tags and all that stuff for me. So I don't even have to do that. I can copy this, go back to my test HTML, put that right in the main and paste it in. And then maybe I want to get a plugin. So I'll do control shift P just to make it look good. Uh, do package. Uh, install package, we'll do uh, HTML beautify, okay? And that's installed and we can now beautify the code with, uh, that's just control alt shift F. And so now the code is all formatted nicely from the markdown code that I had. And you know, if I have this all set up, like my snippet set up for a particular site maybe i have all my links here all i have to do is put in the description and the title of the page i have my site already built because that's really not going to change and my web page is done okay so i can write it mark down switch it maybe i can do this in 20 minutes i have a web page web write up on the notes that we covered in the class and you know if i have a simple style sheet maybe I, whatever that is linkedin or just raw html and just throw up the the code just to get the notes uh, doesn't really matter it doesn't have to look nice right uh, that's not the purpose it's to throw up the notes for the class so yeah um i think this is a pretty awesome way to go uh if you have questions leave comments in the comments below otherwise thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and uh like the video as it does help that get out to more people um so hopefully I'll see you in the next one.